Hi, it's Ken Whitehouse here from Hart, Honda Australia Roadcraft Training. Today I'd like to have a look at a few points that we need to consider when we negotiate intersections. Intersections can be high risk areas for scooterists, but by getting just a few things right, we can certainly minimise those risks and we're going to have a look at what can go wrong and what we need to do to keep ourselves low risk. So let's have a look at how we manage these risks. First, the risk from behind. We need to make sure that traffic traveling behind us is aware of what we're doing. So we need to indicate nice and early, and in this case, we'll be indicating that we're moving to the right. We need to check our mirrors as we're approaching the intersection to make sure that the vehicles behind us are slowing down. When we're at the intersection, we need to check the traffic to the sides. This is where we use our observation technique. Nice look right up as far as you can see and scanning back and forth. Before we pull out, we need to make sure that we've got a good enough gap that we can do that safely. Much better to wait a little bit longer than to pull out in front of a car that you may put yourself at risk from. Once these things are in place, then we need to think about our physical skills of moving off smoothly and ending up in the direction we want to go. Now, how are we going to do that? This is our physical riding skills. We're on our bike. We're checking the traffic. We're starting to accelerate so that when, as we ease the rear brake, the bike's gonna move off smoothly. We accelerate, ease the brake, and we look where we want to go. Remember, where we look is where the scooter's going to go. Where we want to go is right down there. So as we move off, look as far as you can down in the direction you want to go. And as we do move off, start off close to the center line. Once you've got yourself in the direction you want to go, then we can adjust where we are in our lane. But by starting off near the center line, it means that we're not in danger of running off the road. Let's have a look at that in practice. So as I approach my intersection, I want to let people know what I'm doing by indicating nice and early. And as I'm coming to a stop, I'm checking my mirrors to see what's going on behind me. Now I'm at the intersection. Good observation technique. Checking both directions, scanning all the way down as far as I can see. I need to make a good decision before I pull out. Much better to wait a little bit longer until there's a bigger gap than pull out in too small a gap and put myself in danger. When I do move off, nice positive acceleration mirrors, head check, ease the brake and look where I want the bike to go. Starting off nice and close to the centre line, cancel my indicator and then adjust any lane position as necessary. So let's recap on intersections. They don't have to be dangerous situations but we do need to make good decisions. Make sure you let people know what you're doing. Indicate nice and early. Check your mirrors so that you're aware of what's happening behind you. Have a good observation technique. Make sure that before you pull out, there's definitely enough gap. Much better to wait a little bit longer than put yourself in danger. When we do move off, nice positive acceleration and look where you want the scooter to go, not where you don't want it to go. And of course, cancel your indicator. These few things will keep our risk level nice and low at intersections. If you want any more hints, come and see us at heart. Safe riding.